Moving like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground what is going on guys, Brethren here and welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk to you guys about a possible feature and it is the tripwire. I want to explain some of the uses, how to actually craft these up and uh, some cool stuff that you can create with them such as a trap chest. So getting on into this guys, um, tripwires can be crafted up by using a single piece of iron ingot, a single stick as well as a single wooden plank. So let's go ahead and turn it to daytime here. And um, basically what you want to do is once you've created your hooks, uh, you can place those on blocks up to a span of actually 40 blocks, which is pretty sweet. And uh, what you want to do then is you just place your string. Now, it, however many blocks they are apart, you will need that many pieces of string. As you can see here, it just places one string per every block. And then once doing so, as you can see, now the trip wire is activated. And if you hook that up to say a dispenser, it'll dispense arrows or whatever your you know spawn eggs, anything like that that uh, you do want to activate using the tripwire. We're just going to use TNT right now for the sake of the recording. So as you can see, I go over the tripwire, it activates the TNT in return, blowing up. So with that being said, now that I've shown you guys how to actually create a tripwire trap. I'm going to show you guys how to actually disable one because you will be seeing these in the jungle temples as well and uh, the way you actually disable a tripwire is you just go up to it, it's very simple and just hit it with your shears and as you can see it just disables it and you won't have to worry about that anymore. Alright guys, so now that I've shown you how to create a tripwire trap as well as how to disable a tripwire trap, I want to show you one of my favorite things that has to do with tripwires. This is called a tripwire chest. These can be crafted up by using a tripwire hook as well as a chest and the way to make a seamless trap using these is basically what I do is I underneath the block that the chest is on top of I just place a redstone torch followed by a little bit of redstone you want a block right here followed by another uh, redstone torch a little bit more redstone and then say uh, some TNT or you can have a dispenser as well dispensing fireballs or arrows or spawn eggs or anything like that and basically how this works guys is say you know you're off somewhere and your friend comes in and he wants to steal some diamonds out of your chest he opens up the chest and as you can see it activates the TNT which in return ends up blowing him up as well as your chest so in my opinion, you should probably put the chest or the uh, yeah the chest rather a little bit more away from the TNT. But I thought this was pretty cool. You can also hook it up to pistons to where, say, if he's in front of the chest and he's going through your stuff, that the piston will actually drop the floor out from under him, and uh, in return, maybe falling to a pit of lava or something like that. Anyways, that pretty much wraps it up for trip wires, uh, their uses as well as what you can craft and create with them. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do give it a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel. Feel free to subscribe, guys, because I definitely got some more TU14 videos coming up in the following weeks for you guys, so you definitely don't want to miss those. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see your face in the next video. Peace out, guys.